Hello, I'm the Eternal Newbie. The extra L is for lesson, because today we're gonna to talk a little bit about how to use Character Mancer on Roll20. I have other videos on Roll20 about how to actually use it, how to use it to level up, how to level up the other way, things like that, and I've noticed they've been getting a more, few more views lately, and I received a question. Like, can you use the Character Mancer to go to a level besides one? And the answer is no, but yes. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go to back to Jack T. O. Ne oh, sorry, Jack T. Skywalker, who is the basis for my character Hans T. O'Neill, my space goblin, also a monk. He's in Descent to Avernus. Maybe I'll do a story about him one of these days. It's pretty fun. And I believe I used him on my last video. Made him a monk. Here he is. He's level one. Let's go ahead and bump him up to level five. You don't have to do level five. So you go to this screen, little gear right here. Hit the launch level plus character mancer thing. And here we go, start, go to next. And I wanna bring him to level five, he's level one. If I just wanna to go to level two, I just leave it the way it was. So, but we're going to level five. Then you go hit points. I always take average. There we go. Oh, sorry, that's level six. There we go. But you can also roll for it. That's not a bad roll right there. That's even better, but I take average. Just the way I do it. And then I come down here, and because I'm going past level three, I gotta choose my monastic, 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 monastic. I guess monastic tradition. And since I don't have, I didn't buy anything. I just have way of the open hand, which is cool because that's my favorite anyway. Unfortunately, you're either gonna have to buy it on the SRD. Or you're gonna have to input it manually if you do other stuff. And I've got a video about inputting things manually, then I'll link that down below too. It's not hard. It's mostly just copy and pasting. So I'm done with this. I've done that. I've done that. Let's just try this one more time. Man, I am lucky with these rolls, aren't I? Gosh, not. None of them are below average? There we go. Okay. But like I said, average. By the way, DMs don't really like when you do this, so I wouldn't suggest it. Now this is just telling me all the stuff I got, flurry of blows, patient defense, stuff like that. That's all gonna be on my sheet, so I'm not too worried about it. I get an ability score increase, we'll get that later, or a feat. Let's just move on. Now, looking here, I always had, I always had um, dexterity on my first level. I always had one of these on my first level. Depending on my class, if I'm warrior, I had strength, so on and so forth. A lot of people like taking feats, once again, I have not bought any feats. If I did, I could put them in manually, but I just want more dexterity. As a monk, that makes more sense. Gives me more defense, gives me a better chance to hit, more damage. It's just all around good. And now I'm done. I'm not a spellcaster, so I don't have to pick spells. And there we go. Jack T. Skywalker is now a level five way of the open hand monk. And there's all the stuff I got. If I wanted to edit it, I could do this. That's old. There you go. Simple as that. Now let me just show you one more thing really quick. Do I have a cleric? This will work. I'm not gonna say this because this actually is not my character. And I don't know if this person is, but I wanted to show you adding spells. So let's do this. Next. Uh, we're gonna bump you up to, I don't know, level four. Average. Next. Yeah, it's just the features I got. Level four. I'm not keeping this, so it doesn't matter. And now I get to choose some spells. Oh, this person never chose spells, so choosing spells is really easy. Obviously, they only have the player handbook stuff. They might, you have to pay them and get the other stuff if you want it. So you just, it's real simple. Just click. Now, how many spells do I get to choose? I get to choose three spells, or... No, I get to choose seven spells, okay. And I'll just do that. And there you go. Like I said, I'm not gonna apply changes because I don't mess up this person's character if they need it. But it's simple as that. Hope you found this video informative, and if you actually have any questions or anything, let me know. Um, got plenty of time right now, working on other videos and stuff like that, and yeah, so, cool. Thanks for watching.